Hey. Hi. Darlene. Please. Hi. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Jasper. Um, nice to meet you too. Please have a seat. <sighs> um, I made orders already. Uh, your favorite, actually. And what's my favorite? Salad. Remember you told me you liked salad? That it was your favorite? Oh no, salad? I hate salad. What, did you forget? Um... Oh, thank you. There you go. Right. Ta-da. Um... Can I change my order, please? Why? You don't like salad? You said you liked it. That's why it's here. It looks nice. You should have it. Okay. Darling. Hmm? You know I was going to say, um, pictures don't do you justice, actually. You look more beautiful in person. Mm, thank you. Same as you. Yeah, thank you. Um, can I get the wine open? Um, there's something different about you. I, I think you sound more lively on the phone than in real life. Uh, come on, I'm only just meeting you for the first time. So. Oh, okay. Enjoy your food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, can I get a wine opener? Thank you. <laughs> um. Answering me, Jimmy Jasper. Salad, darling. Really, salad? What about salad? <sighs> oh, ah. I told him my favorite meal is salad. Did he offer you that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He offered me snails. At least you'd have even prepared somebody now. You know how you know what salad does to me. It, it, it worries my tummy. Though I didn't know he was going to offer you that. But you you could have just declined or something. Really? So you figure out that I'm not darling, Abby? I'm so sorry, girl. Mm. Now that I have met your Jasper, what next? Hmm? 
Hmm? Um, I don't know, but I'll figure it out. You better figure it out. And whatever plan you have has to accept me. You understand, Abby? Come on now. Babes. Tell me, how did you go? How was he? Was he handsome? Was he, you know, like, how I was looking? Let me look. Babe, mm -hmm. I need you to do me a favor. What is it? I need you to take selfies in bed for me. What? It's just Paul. I told him I'm about to go to bed, then he said I should take selfies for him. Well, how do you start my business? Come on, Kim. You know I can't send him pictures of my face. <laughs> Tali, you should say don't be crazy, they worry you so. See, I know. I know it's crazy. But you know better. You know the reason I started all this in the first place. See, that is my point. When you started this thing, I wasn't aware. So why drag me halfway into it? Eh? Let me tell you something. If you think that I'm going to play this game with you, then you very much lie. I have zero interest in men, and you know that, at least for now. It's not games, Kim. I just want to feel loved. And is this the right way to go about it? Eh? What if this, what was Jasper or whatever he calls himself, what if he finds out? Then I will look for a way to tell him everything. But for now, just help me out, please. You are killing me. You're killing me, man. Sorry. Just this one time. This is the last time I will do it. Give me the phone now before I change my mind. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> There you go, bro. <laughs> Listen, I am glad you like the house, okay? Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> you know my taste. Yeah. I like it very simple, mm -hmm. very classy, mm -hmm. which is why <laughs> I relied on you. You relied on me while I relied on the agent. Because trust me, without him, this whole thing wouldn't have been this nice. Come on, bro. The money was given to you. And I must commend you, man. I mean, it's hard to find a friend who is this trustworthy. Oh, OK. Right. <laughs> right. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to be back. It's been six years, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Six, man, bro. Funny how time flies, bro. <laughs> Good, good to, to see you, you man. Good, good to see, see you, bro. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that, that reminds me. Yeah. There was a girl you spoke to me about. Um, what was her name again? Um, Darlene. Darlene. Yeah, yeah. Darlene, yeah. I, I know someone that bears the same name with her, so I was wondering if it was the same person. Can you just really? tell me how she looks like? or uh, Have you guys met Like since you've been back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I met her. We met yeah. once. Yeah. Once? Yeah, we just met. We met once, yeah. Bro, the way you sounded on the phone, like... You were so into this girl. You sounded as if you were just gonna pop out of person as soon as you arrived to Nigeria. What happened? Like, Yo, man. did you change your mind, bro? I don't know. It's it's a little bit complicated, man. Like, there's something different about her. I think she she kind of has a like a split personality. You know what I mean? She likes to talk to me on the phone. She she prefers to, you know, speak to me on the phone. I don't know why. Correct me if I'm wrong, you're, you're saying 
the person you speak to on the phone doesn't really match up with the person you right speak. right i mean there's something different man that's strange like she sounds sweet on the phone but in real life she's not I, I, I think you should be careful like i think you should be careful with this because i mean you just go back mm -hmm. from the states and trust me any girl will want to patch around you for just that reason and they can be very dangerous these people are willing to suck you dry what do you mean suck me dry you what? know how these people what, you mean my money or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Good to see you too, bro. Good to see you, bro. Um, mm. Yeah. Nice Good. Stop. Very nice. nice, yeah. Mommy, please just stop. Stop. Uh, you're pushing this thing. Stop, please. I said I will settle down when I can. Besides, what do you want me to do? Do I manufacture demand by myself? I've, I, I haven't found any. It's not like I'm even interested. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you don't like to hear the truth, have you? <laughs> well, I am listening. I said I will... Mommy, hold on. I'll call you back. I'll call you, I'll call you back. <sighs> Maybe next year. What's this? Hey, Kim. I got you this dress. I hope you love it. I'll be returning late today. Um... Jasper wants me to visit him at his house by 6 p.m. Mm. I tested you the address already. Mm. Please be there for me, okay? Last time, girl, I promise. Love you. Bye. What does this mean now? What's wrong with Danny? What is she trying to do? <laughs> what? Is she trying to turn me into a toy or what? What is this? What's Darlene trying to do? Can you imagine the nerve of this girl? Okay, this is how we're going to play it, okay? No problem. I will wear this and I will go to his house and I will just tell him the truth because honestly, I am done being caught in this stupid love web of hers. Where's... Come in. Please come. Make yourself comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. Thank you. It's a nice place you've got. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Not bad. He looks like he is well to do. Not a bad one for Darlene. Hey, there you go. Favorite. Uh... What? Remember you said you were a tiger that I couldn't compete with you. I said that? Did you forget? Oh shit. He should have inquired from Darlene. Be smart, Kim. Be smart. Ah, uh, of course not. He, yeah, that's exactly what I said. I'm a tiger. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Mm. Let the competition begin. What? Second time we're meeting, so 
but I've been dating for five months. Five months? Yeah, it's been five months. You know what? What? I kind of think you're not free with me. Yeah, maybe you're still shy or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you do? What? Like, what do you do for a living? Not again. We talked about that last night, right? We... You, you asked me on the phone last night and I told you what I do for a living. Why are you asking me again? Uh, you know, I was just... I was only trying to make conversation. You actually did tell me. <laughs> Don't take everything I say seriously, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you know what? Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about us. Yeah. Us. Yeah, let's talk about us. Okay, yeah, let's talk about us. Yeah. Honestly, I've been thinking and um, I've thought about everything. I really want to take this to the next level, if you don't mind. This relationship, I want to take it to the next level. Yeah. Um, I, I have to pee. Where's your restroom, please? What? Your restroom. Okay, um, just walk straight. Um, the first yeah. door to straight your right. Straight first door to my right. Straight first door to my right. Straight first door to my right. Yeah. You're back. How was it? How? Why are you this late? What were you expecting? Hmm? That I just spent only 30 minutes in there? I went to my boyfriend's house for the first time, remember? My boyfriend, whom I've been dating for five months and I had no clue that I was in a relationship and that you expected me to be back earlier? I don't even know if you're angry or joking right now. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm smiling. Can't you see the huge smile on my face? I, I'm not upset at all. Dali, what the hell is wrong with you? How can you make me abandon my own life and live a life that you scripted? Calm down, kid. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you know that I got drunk today because of you? I am so... I'm so pissed off, I don't even know what to do to you. You better put an end to this thing. Put an end to this madness before I end it for you. Uh, yeah. I will, but, but how? You know what? I, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I am not doing it ever again. Telling you, no, I am not really into me. But I know one thing for sure, that this man is a good man. And I hope you don't lose him to this silly and childish game that you are playing. The whole time, he kept talking about how he loved my personality on the phone better. So I think that you still have a chance. If only you open up and tell him the truth. But it's up to you. Who is that? Your mom. I'm just picking. Eh? Don't pick it. Uh, why? 
Because I'm not in the mood, I beg. She might just be calling to check up on you. <laughs> Mom, see. Darling, why are you talking like this now? Don't you know her? It is not about marriage. It's about nothing else. I think she has a good reason to be worried, though. Don't you think? And what does that mean? I mean, you're old enough for marriage. And you don't even have a lover. <laughs> and the special advisor, just in case that you have forgotten, both of us are in the same boat. You and I are different. Guys don't like me. I mean, I try my best, but I always end up getting dumped. But you, you don't try at all. You don't give any man any chance. Yes, yes, darling, darling, please. The reason I didn't want to pick up this call was because I didn't want to have this conversation. So please just drop it. Drop Sorry. it. Sorry. Thank you. Ah. Oh, wow. That I have to find somebody in it. Is, 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 is it not by force? I don't understand what that means. I'm serious, bro. Like she's different right now. She's like this on the phone, and she's like that in real person. Like she's got a split personality. Listen, I don't know, just it's crazy like that. Well, people are like that sometimes. Okay, I think you should just give her some time. She will come around. Trust me, she will blend. I hope she does come around. She does. But the thing is, before I met her, I fell in love with her. And right now, I'm actually ready to take things to the next level, bro. Come on, bro. You need to slow down. I mean, you just met this girl. No, come on, man. Like, we've been talking for six months and I've been dating her for five months. Six before. months? That was online. I don't think you can bring in that online play and all that into this. This is serious. Listen, whether I've met her online or anywhere, love can happen anywhere, bro. Come on. I'm not trying to dispute that, but I'm not saying you should slow down. Get to love her, man. I love this girl. This not be play, play love, bro. It's not. Well, fast, slow, shit is down for her, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I decided to see my doctor yesterday and he confirmed that my blood pressure is so high and if care isn't taken that it's gonna be complicated and can lead to stroke god forbid god forbid mom that can never happen god forbid all thanks to you Kim. how for killing me slowly since you've decided not to get married Mommy, so this is what this is about, eh? You don't know how much I've been thinking. <sighs> if anything happens to me, Kim, just know you killed me. Mommy, nothing will happen to you, okay? Please, and I've heard you. I, I, I will do something about it. And just, just take your drugs and stop thinking too much. I'll talk to you later. I have to go to work. Bye. left in me to offer. Come on, Kim. You haven't even heard what I have to say. I don't care. Whatever it is, I, 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 I'm helpless. 
Build na fight. Tell him how selfish can you be? Hmm? How selfish can you be? Eh? How selfish? You're always going about needing help without rendering any. Don't you know that I have my own life? Or you think I don't have my own problems? My mom is sick and she wants me to marry as soon as possible. Now, that is a two in one problem. One, my mother is sick. Two, there's no man around. Now, I don't need your help. But please, I do not need you adding your problems to mine. Please, darling, please. I had no idea. I mean, you didn't tell me. Well, now that you know, please just spare me. Please. I will leave the living room for you. You all right? Mm-hmm. You sure about that? Yeah. I mean, I'm the one seeing your mother for the first time. I don't know why you're nervous. I should be the one. Nervous, not you. Because I haven't done this before. What? You haven't brought a man here before? Should I have? No, I was just, uh, I'm just saying regardless, I mean, I should be the one who's nervous because I don't even know if your mother's gonna like me. I mean. Why do we have here? Hey, Mom. Oh, my baby. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Mom, you... You don't, you don't look like you're sick. On the contrary, you look very okay. Because I'm getting better now. Ah, yeah. Uh, Mom, this is uh, Jasper, the man that I have always told you about. Right. You never told me anything about Jasper. Anyways, Jasper, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's great to see you, man. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Sit. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, appreciate that. Finally. You have decided to bring a man home. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> Jasper. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing great, ma'am. How are you? Fine. Well, my daughter is too secretive. She never told me anything about you. I didn't even have any idea she was seeing any man. Really? So, for how long have you been dating? Um, Darlene and I have been dating for six months or more. We, we actually met... Uh, in church. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, in church actually, we met in church. You've started calling her Darlene. Well, um, which church did you did you both meet? Mommy, my church, this, this present house. You know Pastor Tony now. He always prays for you. Yeah, Pastor Tony. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you said for five months now. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. So when are you both getting married? What? Mom. Did you have to ask such a question? At the very first meet, you're already asking a question like that. Why now, mommy? What's the big deal? Is this supposed to be a meeting where we eat and gist? Hell no. I told you to bring a man so you can get married. That's the aim. Mommy, he hasn't even proposed to me yet. I brought him home so you put your mind at rest. My mind will never be at rest until you get married. Well, what do you want me to do? Propose to myself? Mommy, please, I brought him home so you can just chill, relax, and let things flow naturally. Jasper is waiting, I have to go. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'll call you. Bye. Your 
bike. Uh, Jasper, please meet my very good friend, Kimberly. <laughs> what was I expecting? I'm Kimberly now. Um, hi, Kimberly. I've heard lots about you. Darlene here told me lots about you whilst I was in the States. She did? She? You did? Did you forget? Ha! <laughs> it's <a joke. laughs> oh my heart. She told me about you too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so make yourself comfortable yeah. while I go change my shoes. Okay. Just feel free to watch anything you should do. Please, look. I'll be right back. What is it? What have you done? What did you just do? What did I do? Why did they bring him here? You didn't even tell me. Baby, you don't tell me. Oh my God. What did you expect me to do now? Eh? The guy said he wanted to drop me off. What was I supposed to do? He declined as usual. He will suspect something now. Um, okay, that's by the way. Um, I was meeting with the mom. Hmm. Babes, thank God Darlene sounds like Darlene. If not, Momsi would have found out and that would have just been the heights. So, do you think so? Will you expect me to say otherwise? Eh? Kim, that man out there is my man. My man, Kim. A man I dated for five months, five good months. And to him now, I, I'm just, I'm not a stranger. The work of God now that he's here. Mm. Let's just go outside and tell no, him. No, 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 don't. We don't have to do anything right now. Why? Oh, that would be the end. Mm? Everything could just scatter. I beg, babe. Please. Before we can think of opening up to Jasper, we have to just sit down and think of a good plan, a good way to do it. Don't you think? We. Mm -hmm. As in, you are who? Darling, <laughs> you better wake up and smell the coffee. Let me tell you, whatever plan it is you want to come up with, come up with it all by yourself. And I just hope that that plan does not involve me. You lie, babe. You're already involved in this. You're already involved. You just introduced that guy to your mom, didn't you? So calm down, babe, and just cooperate with me, okay? Is this a blackmail or is right? None of the above, babe. I'm just stating the fact. Meanwhile, let me go out there and spend some time with my man. Favorite program. How did you know that? Kim! I mean, uh, Darlene told me. Oh, I see. It's pretty interesting, you know? I'm educative too. Oh, you like it? It's my favorite. Oh, great. Oh, that makes it three of us. I mean, Darlene likes it too. Oh, yeah. She does. <clears throat> Kim! You didn't even bother to offer Jasper a drink? Oh, my bad. But you would have been in a better position to do that. Oh, guys, guys, okay, I think it's time for me to leave. Uh, you gotta go. Uh, right, I think I should see you off to your car. No, no, that, that won't be necessary. Just, uh, I just came to see where she is. Mm. Alright. Let's go. So. Alright, okay. Alright, okay.
let me see me at your car. Are you blaming me? If you are the one who to have done more. Mm. Let me go and call him back now, so we can just sit down and tell him everything, Abi. Because if the real darling is walking into the garden, what would the fake darling do? Just follow the real darling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, see, uh, Kim, Kim, next time you're going to see Jasper, uh, I think we should switch phones. Because... It... And who says there'll be a next time? There'll be. You're not joking, are you? Yes. Because I'm hungry, I think. Kim! Kim! <laughs> wait, wait, I, wait, I'm saying... You, you mean she took you to her... As in, like, she presented you to her mom? That's right, bro. As what? Her man, bro. That's like an assurance right there, bro. <laughs> I found a wife. <laughs> My goodness, this... <laughs> Yo, but you know you never liked her, right? You know you, you kind of doubted her. <laughs> I told you she's different, right? Come on, I never doubted her. I only said, I don't know her. Okay, you're about to meet her. You're going to meet her soon. <laughs> you're so sure about her. Yeah, I, I am. Hey, wait, wait, I'll fix you something to eat. You hungry? <laughs> All right, get me something, I'm fine, I'm here. <laughs> wow. Um, darling, mm -hmm. um, this is actually my friend. Um, the one I always talked about on the phone, remember? Hi. Hey. It's very nice to meet you. Um, Rodney. Did you forget his name? Uh, Rod because of Rodney. Rodney. Yeah. He's, 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 I missed it for a second. You know, I have so much in my mind. Oh, okay. Very so, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So. And Rodney? Yeah. Um, Darlene here is my wife to be. Whoa, huh? that's nice. <laughs> wife to be? <laughs> Hi, wifey. Um, Whoa. Only if you say yes. What? Yeah, just say yes. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That, that's, that should be the expression, okay? I mean, you look like you just saw her gone. That's a ring. I'm still on one knee. Oh, my God. Let this be a dream. It's really happening. I think I should, I should do it for real, for my mom's sake. Just say yes, baby. Uh, Go ahead. That's what you mean to me. I'm so sorry, darling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Isn't this beautiful? It is beautiful. Thank you. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just toast to that. Yeah. To the magic. I don't know. Cheers. Cheers. Back to me. Hey guys. Cheers. <laughs>
Charles. He wants me to spend the weekend at his place. So are you going? Maybe you can just pack a bag and show up at his door and be like, hi, I'm Galil, and I'm here to spend the weekend with you. <laughs> not funny. Well, I'm not trying to be funny either. None of us is going. We must stop this. Why? Listen. It's fine if nobody is going. But stop this. How? So I look like a bad person to Jasper? Ah, uh -huh, no, girl. It doesn't work that way. You see, this game that you started will keep playing till we. You find a way to sort it out without making me the bad guy. Jasper is a very good man, and I'm not about to hurt him or let him get hurt through me. Then make me the bad person. I don't care. Maybe you should go over to his house and seize this opportunity to tell him the truth. I really can't watch this go on. It is really harder than I predicted. Fine. Voila. I'll go there. I'll open up to him, tell him everything, return his ring or whatever. And then what happens after that? Happens. Good. I'll need your phone this time just in case. Fine. Kimberly, you are living a life you never thought you would live anytime soon. All thanks to your darling Dali. Come to think of it, I think love is actually a sweet thing. Everyone should experience it. You know, maybe I don't know how it feels to be in love with someone yet. But at least I know how it feels to be loved. And I must confess, I am starting to enjoy it. I really... So what's my baby cooking? I thought you didn't like okra. What? You said you didn't like okra. <laughs> what it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't like okra. I'm only making it for you. You're making it for me? Mm-hmm. But I told you I don't like it too. I mean, I, I told you I don't like it. We talked about it, we cracked jokes about it on the phone, and I told you we have things in common, right? Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm so forgetful. 
Oh, hell yeah, you are so forgetful. I mean, you have practically forgotten everything we talked about on the phone. You know what, I, I'm just go ahead and make some Hey, that, that's okay, that's, that's all right. No, it's, it's fine, I can, I, I can do it. It's okay, come on. Listen, we can go out and grab something to eat, all right? We can grab something to eat. Okay. I mean, that's okay. I mean, we... Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Come here. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Come here. Stop. What's wrong with you? You don't want to come close to me? You don't want to kiss me? You don't want to hug me? What's wrong? <sighs> Jasper, I, 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 I have to tell you something. You want to tell me something? Mm -hmm. All right, shoot. What do you want to talk about? I'm all ears. You want to tell me now? You know, it's, it's fine. I, I, I could tell you when we go out. What? When we go out to get something to eat, I could, I could tell you. I'll tell you. Let me. I'm sorry, we have to do this another time. I just got a call, really important. I have to meet up with someone real quick. Right. Uh, not to worry, I'll just get food on my way back. All right? I'm just going to tell him everything when he gets back. Can't do this anymore. Sorry about that, I got busy. But babe, I, I told you, 
When we nearly started charting online, I told you I don't like it when people call me on the phone like that. Why did you tell me that? When we started talking on the internet, I told you that I don't like it when people call me unnecessarily like. See, forget whatever it is you told me online or you didn't tell me. That doesn't apply to me, all right? I mean, what did you expect me to do? You, 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 you left without so much of an explanation. I had no idea where you were. I, I, I was worried, sick. Oh. And I, what, did I, what did you expect me to do? But I just apologized. I told you I'm sorry, right? I got busy. I got, I got busy. I had to handle business. That's what's up. All right. It's your bag. I guess you forgot the food. Oh, yeah. I, I did forget actually. I'm sorry about that. So. It's fine. I'll just make something quickly. Uh, you can make one person. Why? Because I'm not hungry. What? You, you have a problem with that? So you said you wanted to talk to me about something earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's that? Uh, I, uh... <clears throat> I, I just... I, I was just going to say that That I don't want any form of intimacy until we're married. I I I know you you asked why I haven't kissed you or or anything, so that's it. I I just don't want it, not now, at least. But if I can vividly remember, you literally told me that you are not a virgin and um, you cannot wait to kiss me if we meet. You literally told me that. I said that? Yes, you did. Did you forget? Uh, no, I didn't. Mm -mm. I didn't forget, but I, I only said that because I, I, I didn't think that you would honestly come down to Nigeria and try to have anything serious with me. Or... I guess I'll have to wait till our wedding night then. Um, can we just fix a date already? Really? Yeah. You don't think it's too soon? Is it? It's nice seeing you again. Oh, great. Uh, let me put these things down. I'm right back. All right, babe. How are you? I'm good. Oh, great. I prepared your favorite. What? Your favorite. I beg your pardon? Yeah, um, oh, Darlene, she told me how much she loves jollof rice. So I made it for you. Can I get it? She told you that? Yeah. You know, it's really funny how she says these things to you, but she never remembers them when she's with me. It's okay. Have a seat. I'll, I'll oh, sure. Thank you. It. Thanks. Yeah.
Tastes pretty nice. Really delicious. Aww. I'll tell you what. Thank you so much. You know, I've always wanted Darlene to make this, but she made okra instead. That's, that's crazy. Okra? Yeah. Well, you hate okra. She told you that? <coughs> she did. Oh. <coughs> Kim, do you, do you want to concentrate on your food? Hey, hey, come on. We're getting along. We're having a conversation. You think we should? Hell yeah. Um, tell me about yourself. You already know. You know what? Like I said earlier, it is bad etiquette talking over <clears throat> the food. So please, can we all just eat? And then when we're done, we can have the conversation. <laughs> 